So you're ready to start sewing your own clothes. Yay, congratulations! You have your fabric, your sewing pattern, and your sewing machine, but you're not sure what size to cut out. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest ways to take full body measurements so you know exactly what size to cut out that will fit your body. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video about sewing your own clothes and other small projects. Let's get started. To take full body measurements, you're first going to need a tape measure and a pen and a piece of paper so you can write them down as we go. The first measurement you will need to take is your chest measurement, which is often referred to as the bust measurement on sewing patterns. Something to keep in mind when you're measuring your bust is to make sure you measure your bust the way that you're going to wear the garment once it's done. So if you're measuring something where you know that you're going to be wearing a bra underneath, then measure in that bra that you would be wearing to give yourself the most accurate chest measurement. Lay the tape measure around the part of your chest that protrudes the most. So for me as an example, I lay my tape measure around where my bra would be and around the center of my bra cup. And I don't hold it so tight. I hold it pretty loose in my hand and comfortable. And I just write down the measurement that shows there. So for me, it shows um, 40 inches, so I'm just going to write 40 inches down. Now, to measure under your bust, to be honest, I often don't use this measurement, but some people do, so it depends on the type of garment that you're making. But for that, you just measure underneath where your the bottom of your bra would hit, or if you're not wearing a bra, you would just measure underneath the part of your chest that protrudes the most. The next measurement you're going to need to take is your waist measurement. To find your waist, I found that the easiest way to do this is to measure just below where the bottom of your rib cage is and the top of your hip bone. So I'll show you where that is on me. And I've just found that this is where my natural waist is. Um, again, I have a longer torso, but I do think that the bottom of the rib cage and the top of your hip is the safest bet to get your waist measurement. I lie the tape measure around there so it's lying on me gently and not held too tight. And for me, my waist is measuring at 34 inches. That was my waist measurement standing up. And I also measure myself sitting down because when I sit down, bodies redistribute weight and I found that that's really helpful to get an accurate fit on dresses and blouses. So I do the same thing. I sit down and find that spot on my body and I again put the tape measure around me. And for me, that measurement is 35 inches, so an inch bigger than when I was standing up. The next measurement you're going to need to take is your hip measurement. And that essentially is in front of where your pelvis is and the back of your butt, because that is to get the widest part of your body. So again, I do this one standing up and sitting down, so we'll start with the standing measurement for you. So what I do is I stand up and oftentimes I look in the mirror sideways and I put the tape measure so it wraps around to where my butt would be sticking out the most and I make sure it wraps around to the front and I take that measurement. That measurement is 41 inches. And I'm going to take the same measurement sitting down so similar to my waist measurement, I will keep the tape measure wrapped around my hips. I will put it a little looser in my hands so then when it slides, when my bum redistributes its weight, there will be an accurate measurement showing. So that measurement for me is 44 inches. Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to use your body measurements to cut out the right size on your next sewing pattern. Awesome! You're well on your way to sewing your own clothes and it's a really exciting time. Please leave me any comments below of videos that you want to see in the future and subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!